prophecy has 2,000. Oh, by the way, my master's uh, final thesis, uh, whatever project, is an index to Ellen G. White writings. So I scanned all of Ellen. I copy and pasted all of my G. White writings. And I scanned them separately in paragraphs. And my program found out Ellen G. White writings published works <coughs> are 250, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> 250,000 paragraphs. Bible is 33,103 verses. Ellen G. White writings is 250,000 paragraphs. <coughs> of course, there are rep repetitions. But the Bible also has repetition, right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They are repeating so many of the stories. <coughs> so Bible has 33,103 verses. Spirit of Prophecy, Ellen White has 250,000 verses. <clears throat> if you want to do something, you look for it there, and you will be sure that it is God's will. If it's not there, probably it's not God's will, even if it looks nice. So God has revealed his will. Why are we thinking of other things? <clears throat> if we think of other things, that means we are better than God. Oh, diva. <clears throat> Remnant. You know what? In the Bible, there are many remnants. When there are many people and everybody is foolish, some people are good. That's what you call the remnant. So it happens in Bible history. The world became foolish, but Noah and his sons are the remnant. The world became foolish, but Israel is the one that is not doing idolatry. The Israel became a remnant. Israelites started to do foolishness, but the Christians are obeying God's uh, thus saith the Lord instead of the Pharisees thus saith the Pharisee. Because the Pharisees made their own policy. <laughs> and they worship the policy more than they worship God's word. So the Christians became the remnant. Now <clears throat> the Christians were infected with all these ideas that are not in biblical. And the remnant now are the people who are Christians who are following the Bible. Right? So in the end, there will be a people, if you look at Bible history, there will be a people, <clears throat> because in the end, there will be so much evil, there will be people who are following the Bible. That is the remnant. And the remnant is not remnant just so that you can be called remnant. They have a mission. You know what the, the Jews were Bible studying? They're studying the Bible, praying, fasting. And then that's the end. They are not doing missionary work. So they got lost. When Jesus came, Jesus was doing missionary work. He has more subscribers. <laughs> he has more views. Because he is doing missionary work. People love Jesus more than the Pharisees. Because we are supposed to do missionary work. It has to be balanced. You study, you fast, you pray, and then you do missionary work. So that is what the Jews missed. And in the end, we should be doing missionary work. <clears throat> And that's why I like to buy cameras and like to help the people who are doing missionary work. Unity in the body of Christ. Jesus is the boss. We are the branches. Even if we come from different uh, countries, some are rich, some are poor. And baptism, I told you already, the Bible says, repent and be baptized and your sins will be forgiven. Why did Jesus get baptized even if he has no sin? For an example, yeah, so that we will follow. So if you get baptized, Jesus goes, when Jesus got baptized, does that mean that he has sins? No. He, he said, let it be for now. Actually, John the Baptist did not want to baptize him. He said, you should baptize me. I, I'm not the one who baptized. Jesus said, no, you just do it. Uh, to fulfill all righteousness. So, John the Baptist baptized Jesus even if Jesus has no sin. <clears throat> For an example, Lord's Supper, and we have this uh, uh, program in the church because Jesus said, you do this often in remembrance of me. So, from time to time we do that. We repent and then we eat that bread that has no yeast and uh, grape juice. Communion is open to all believing Christians. 
Spiritual gifts and ministries, yeah, everybody has something to do. You just ask God what to do. Some are, have faith, some are good in healing, some in prophecy, some in proclamation, some in teaching, some administration, some reconciliation, <clears throat> some compassion, some self-sacrificing service, and charity. Those are all in the Bible. Do you want to be prophet, class? Do you want to be prophet? You don't know? You know what? We are all supposed to be prophet. Because the Revelation 10 says, <clears throat> that you will see the prophecy book. You eat, it will taste good in the mouth. When you swallow, it will taste be bitter. But, that is the 1844 experience. 